Welcome back to you live now from Fox. Some breaking news on this Saturday. Take a look at this tweet from Fox Business. It says, UPenn President Liz McGill steps down after controversial testimony on anti-Semitism. This is something that we covered uh, this a week, actually, a few university presidents there on Capitol Hill being grilled when it comes to anti-Semitic rhetoric on their campuses. The announcement comes days after that intense pressure from Penn alumni and elective officials following McGill's botched Capitol Hill testimony earlier this week. At issue were remarks McGill made before the House Education and Workforce Committee in which she refused to outright say that anti-Semitic chants and calls for the genocide of Jewish people violate the school's code of conduct. Take a look at this. Uh, the statement from the Penn Board of Trustees saying here, Dear members of the Penn community, I write to share that President Liz McGill has voluntarily attended her resignation as president of the University of Pennsylvania. She will remain a tenured faculty member at Penn Carey Law. On behalf of the entire Penn community, I want to thank President McGill for her service to the university as president and wish her well. We will be in touch in the coming days to share plans for interim leadership of Penn. President McGill has agreed to stay on until an interim president is appointed. President McGill shared the following statement, which I include here, and then it reads, quote, it has been my privilege to serve as president of this remarkable institution. It has been an honor to work with our faculty, students, staff, alumni, and community members to advance Penn's vital missions. Now, again, that testimony really landed her in hot water regarding anti-Semitic rhetoric. I want to get to this breakdown, actually, from our partners at Fox News. They have all of the details on what was actually said during that hearing. As UPenn students were walking throughout campus and heading to class, their university president, Liz McGill, was in the hot seat on Capitol Hill testifying about anti-Semitism on the campus. It's been kind of crazy. Um, a lot of things have been happening that, you know, I've seen in movies of like, oh, this is what college is like, all protests and things my parents even warned me about, that people find any excuse to hide anti-Semitism behind any cause. Since the October 7th attacks on Israel, UPenn has reported a number of anti-Semitic incidents, including messages video projected on the walls of several campus buildings and also emails threatening violence against Penn's Jewish community. When people say from the river to the sea, this is what it actually means. And there are student groups protesting every week for things that I really do not personally believe in. I think there are better answers to what's being chanted. During the hearing, McGill was joined by the presidents of Harvard and MIT, who have also been dealing with similar issues and were all questioned about it. As a student of constitutional democracy, I know that we need both safety and free expression for universities and ultimately democracy. During the hearing, there was also discussions of issues surrounding Islamophobia on the campuses as well. When asked what UPenn is doing to control the anti-Semitism and Islamophobia on campus, President McGill says they have been working with police to investigate cases involving these acts and disciplining those involved, expanding public safety officers at religious life centers and across campus, and creating a task force to provide support for those impacted. Penn would not be what it is without its strong Jewish community, past, present, and future. As for students on campus, some are encouraged to see Congress holding UPenn and other university leaders accountable. I don't know what's going to come of the president being in front of Congress. I don't know if anything's going to change, um, but I know that there's a lot of students who've got more time than I do and a lot more strength than I do who are really trying to push and promote change and also education. Now, McGill's resignation, it comes as was mentioned there in that report after the major donor T Ross Stevens rescinded a $100 million gift to the school in protest of the college's handling of anti-Semitism on campus and her leadership. The Board of Penn's Wharton Business School also asked McGill to resign, and the university's Board of Trustees held an emergency meeting Thursday as the school faced backlash over her comments. Both Stevens and the Wharton Board pointed to McGill's disastrous congressional testimony and statements explaining the reasons for their respective actions. McGill will keep her position as a tenured faculty member at the university's law school.